Here are five reasons you need grants for your nonprofit. Let's get into it. Hey there, this is Tiffany with Boss in a Budget. I help people start their nonprofits and also raise money for their nonprofits. If you need help, then make sure you follow this channel, make sure you subscribe and share with someone who also needs this information because I drop videos every single week. And today I wanna to talk about why you need grants. I do want you to wait to the end of the video because I do have a warning about this though. If you've heard me talk about grants, you probably know what I'm gonna say, but I just wanna give you a piece of advice when you are pursuing grants for your nonprofit. So let's get right into it. So the first reason why it's important to pursue grants for your nonprofit is that it can provide lump sums of money. And especially when you're a new nonprofit, that's really, really important for you to get some breathing room for your organization. Because here's the thing, you're going to get things done anyway. But as you grow and as you start doing your programming, you really do want to transition from always having to rely on volunteers or always being the one as the founder or as the founding board doing everything. So when you get a lump sum of money in the form of a grant, it really gives you the breathing room, like I said, to do some things, to pay some people. And this is how I like to look at it. It's money that you can use to help plan for the future. So when you get this lump sum of money, you can use it as leverage to be able to buy back some time or get people. Now, I just wanna break down a little bit the differences in grants because not all the grants that you're awarded are the same. The two main types of grants that you're gonna see, this is not all, but the two main, is either a general operating grant or a program grant. Program grants are way more common than general operating grants. So program grants are money that's given to you to be able to implement a specific program. Usually you'll write a proposal talking about that particular program and what you plan to do to implement an aspect of it or all of the program. With a general operating grant, generally you're writing to support the or overall functioning of your organization and that money is more unrestricted and you have more flexibility with how you can spend that money. So if you get a general operating grant, it absolutely can save you time and allow you to hire in ways so that you can leverage those hires to make more money. When you are making money for your nonprofit, the best advice I could give you is that whatever you do receive, invested in being able to make more money. The worst thing you want to do is assume that when you get one dollar, the next dollar is automatically coming. And a lot of people have that mindset when it comes to nonprofits, but I really, really recommend you don't take on that mindset because you always have to be looking for opportunities to raise money or earn money. So let's say you have an idea for a program or you're launching a new program for your organization and you don't necessarily want to piecemeal it. You just want to be able to implement it in a certain way. There are grants that you can access that will give you what you need to be able to launch your program fully. Now, there are some caveats to this because sometimes grant funders don't necessarily want to be the only funder of a program. Sometimes they want to see that you are leveraging other types of funding and you're using that and pulling the money together to be able to support your programming. But there are foundations and other grant funders who will give you money to launch a new program especially if you market it or pitch it as something new and innovative and something that they're interested in. And especially if you have a track record or if you have a prior relationship with that grant funder, you can pitch a particular program to them and say, hey, we've noticed that this is happening over here and we've designed a program to address this. Now, what I just said about pitching to foundations, you can really do for anything in your organization, because what you want to do is show them how their money is going to impact something else and that their money is needed, that their grant is really need to address a specific problem. You would do that in any grant proposal and you want to think about it that way. But I'm just saying that, if, especially if you want to launch a new initiative or a new program and you just, you, like I said, you don't want to piecemeal it. You want to just fully launch it. A grant can be a really good vehicle to do that. Just keep in mind that if you're using a grant to launch a program, then you need to think about what happens in year two. So don't get short-sighted now. You may get the money you need from the grant funder for year one, but 
the money is not necessarily guaranteed. And even when they say they're going to give you the money for the next year, it's still not guaranteed. So always keep in mind what you're going to do for year two when you're thinking about getting money for launching a program. The third reason why you need grants, and this is especially for new nonprofits. So let me just be clear. When I talk in this channel, I am specifically talking to new and smaller nonprofits. Now, if the if the information helps, anybody can take it. But I specifically talk from the angle of new organizations and small organizations. And grants are really important in that phase of your nonprofit. You want to know why? Because it forces you to organize your thinking. It forces you to write down what you plan to do. So why am I saying this? Because I encounter a lot of people who have their programming or have an idea in their heads and they haven't taken the time to really sit down and flesh out what that really looks like in paper on paper. Or sometimes people will have a general idea of how they want to execute a program, but they really haven't thought through how much staffing do you need? How many hours a week does that take? What kind of program materials do you need? All that level of detail you should be fleshing out for your programs anyway but I know that a lot of people don't do that so when you start writing grants it forces you to start thinking about the details when most times you haven't done it yet that's why I think grants are really important and really helpful for newbies because it takes you through a process where you have to outline your why. You have to talk about why there's a need in your community and you have to get citations and talk about it. You have to persuade somebody else that this program is the right program for them to fund. And in order to do that persuasion, you got to do your research. You got to make a case. And a lot of people don't sit down and make that case or have the patience to do that. But grants will give you that patience, right? So that's one reason why I will say going after grants. Grants are always my favorite way to make money for new nonprofits. It's one of important ways, but it's not always my favorite. And the only reason why I say that is because people put too much faith and hope in grants only. And there are other ways you can make money as a nonprofit. And there are other ways you should be making money as a startup. Now, if you need help with that, I am linking a video above that helps you design a fundraising campaign for a new organization. And I'm also linking a workbook I created that shows you how to do that, right? It's called Raise Your First $10,000. But grants are important. They should be a part of your strategy, but they shouldn't be the only part of your strategy. But the reason why I I still talk about them, even though they're not always my favorite, is because they make you get organized and they make you get ready. You're going to come across some grants that are easy to fill out and it's like no sweat. And then you're going to meet that one grant proposal where you're like, I did not know I needed all of this. So again, it helps you get organized. It helps you get your mind right so that you can make the case for your organization. And doing that work will help all your fundraising campaigns. It'll help with recruiting board members. It will help with recruiting partners. So it's really important to go through that process. Here's the fourth reason. This is a quick reason why you need grants. Because winning grants, that momentum really does help elevate you and motivate you. There's nothing like a win to make you feel like you should keep going. And I know what it's like when you're launching a business, when you're starting a nonprofit, and people don't quite get the vision. And even if they get the vision, they don't get behind you because they don't see enough movement yet, right? They don't see the momentum yet. And so it can be really lonely and isolating for people who are starting out, for people who are doing all this grant writing and trying to get their first win, because a lot of people won't get behind you in the beginning. But when you start winning and when you start getting that momentum, like you get your confidence up, first of all, to be able to keep going. Because when you do keep getting let down or when it does feel isolating, it makes you want to stop. But getting that win and still pursuing those grants is really helpful for you to believe that you're doing the right thing. And whether we want to accept it or not, that validation is important, right? It's, it's easy to say, oh, I don't need people to tell me. I know this is a good program. But that external validation of winning a grant or getting that momentum of getting grant funding is really important. And I've listened to a lot of people who talk about winning grants and how it turned things around for them 
how they thought they would give up. They were going to just shutter their nonprofit. But when they finally got some momentum with grants, it really helped springboard them into the next phase. So if that's you, if you are writing grants and you're getting discouraged or there are not a lot of people supporting you right now, keep writing. It takes time. Keep writing and you will start winning. And when you start winning, ride that wave and ride that momentum. And the last reason why I think grants are really important is because it helps you get your financials together. One thing that people don't realize and probably underestimate about the grants process is how much you need to have your financial house in order. And it shows up in different ways. So one way it shows up is do you have an organizational budget <laughs> because they're going to be asking you for your budget most likely and they're probably going to be asking you for the program budget that you're writing for if it's a program grant or they're going to be asking you for an overall organization budget or both right and so you got to be prepared to do that and too many times people are scrambling when they're writing grants to write up a budget when they should have done that and should have a budget regardless you should that should be a process in place for your organization whether you're pursuing grants or not but a lot of times when people have to submit a grant that's when they finally start writing a budget so that's why i think writing grants is important because for those people who are not ready who aren't prepared it makes you get prepared when it comes to things like your budget another way it shows up is with your financial statements so once you start applying for more substantial grants your funders are going to ask you for your financial statements right? They're going to want to see your statement of expenses. They're going to want to see the balance sheet. They want to want to see where your cash is. They want to know your liabilities and your assets. And you need to be able to produce those statements. And if you've never done that and you have to do it for a grant, it wakes you up. It makes you realize for a lot of people, they don't even realize they need that kind of stuff until they start applying for grants, which again is why I say it's important to go after grants because it gets you ready. And here's the other thing, if you're small or pretty new and you don't have financial statements, sometimes grant funders are lenient because I didn't say this before, but sometimes they want audited financial statements and the rules for audits depend on the funders. It depends on the state. But if you don't have audited financial statements, sometimes they will accept a financial review or unaudited financial statements. And even in some instances, if you don't have a financial statement, they may accept your 990 form, which is your annual tax information form that you have to fill out for your nonprofit. And it's the same thing. Some people don't even realize that they have to fill out a 990. And so going through the grants process, again, reminds you, oh, I need to do this? What is this? It makes you start doing your research and all of that. So the moral of the story is you should be prepared and know what you're supposed to have as a nonprofit in terms of documentation and paperwork. But sometimes it just doesn't work out like that. So going through the grants process helps get you better prepared. So if it sounds like you, you need to make sure you start writing grants so you can get yourself in the rhythm of being in compliance and in order for your nonprofit. So this is the warning that I'm going to give you. I just want you to understand that grants are, they're, they're tantalizing for lack of better words. Like they can seem so, what is the word I'm looking for? Attractive. And you can get really caught up in wanting to go after grants and thinking that a grant, one grant will solve every problem. And I just really want to caution you that you want to think more broadly about your financial plan for your nonprofit. How do you plan to make money? And just know for yourself and accept that grants are not the only way you should be making money. Okay, you should be thinking about other ways and other things you should pursue to raise money, including raising money from individuals, raising money from corporations, earning money by providing a service or providing a product. There are other ways that you can make money. And guess what, y'all? Nonprofits can make money. I don't know where this myth came from where people think nonprofits can't make money. You can, you need to make money, but don't get so caught up in the trap of, oh, I just need a grant. And that's all you're thinking about. Grants are really important. They are a really important part of your strategy, but they can't be the only thing. 
So let me know in the comments if that was helpful. Let me know your reactions. What do you think about what I said? And if you need help, make sure you visit me at bossinabudget.com. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.